So, I'm in Montana, seeing some sights, and I came across the battlefield of Little Bighorn. And shit. So because I got here so late in the day, I'm uh, kind of having to just wing it and, and see what I can see on my own. Uh, but so far, all I know is Custer's last stand was here and he lost to a large group of uh, Native Americans who had gathered because they did not want to be put on reservations. And uh, he got his ass kicked. So, oh, yeah. see if I can learn some more as I go here. So I've been told that uh, it's a driving tour. Um, this is just the first thing. I'm gonna walk back down to my car and see if I can catch it before it all closes. Uh, sucks that I got here so late. But uh, this is Last Stand Hill, so I guess the final battle took place on this hill. And, uh, yeah, history and shit. So I'm gonna try, try and get through it. So apparently Crazy Horse beat somebody's ass here and then they fell back to the last stand hill up there. You know, that's my genius level fucking narration of history. That's why I don't work for the History Channel and shit. I wish I had more time. I, I, I do regret getting here this late. However, it should be noted that you get in free after 4 p.m. Or if you have the military national parks pass, if you're a former service member, you get that. And uh, yeah, so this was a fr this was free either way if I got here at this time. But the downside is you're going to be rushed. And also, this is a driving tour for the most part. You can walk it; It'd be 10 miles. Uh, if it wasn't fucking sweaty balls hot out, maybe. So apparently 7,000 Lakota, Cheyenne, and Arapaho tribes and their warriors had their camp down here. So I think this is where the battle kind of started and then ended up pushing up that hill. It's a lot of ridge lines. You know, we're talking Civil War era-ish, I think, if I remember right. So if you think about that type of weaponry versus arrows that's interesting you know and the Native Americans still won this battle anyway obviously we know how it went after that very beautiful here for sure yeah
So, it's lots of horses and shit. Apparently, part of this park is private land. There was a sign that said so, so I guess technically if I was out here and they closed everything, they couldn't do much about it unless the private landowner came after me or something. But I just found it interesting that the horses are just running around free here, free and clear. Hopefully they don't fuck me up. But apparently the grass is greenest by the road. Shit. So, this is pretty cool, you know. Nice little out of the way stop. I wasn't planning this at all. I just saw the sign and I added the stop to my Google. And here I am on a battlefield. There's a lot of stuff about Custer in South Dakota, too. But little did I know that it span such a wide area. You learn something new every day, apparently. Of course, I might forget it in a few days. Getting old, you know. It's hard to remember shit when you're old. I feel like most of the pull-offs are on the other side and they're, and they're kind of one way. But, fuck it. check this one out so this is sharpshooter ridge which apparently was a bunch of snipers doing the sniper thing and it's really quite the view overlooking this whole area could see why they wanted to settle here. So, overall, I've been to a few battlefields, Gettysburg being my favorite. Um, you could probably skip this one, to be honest. Um, there are some signs, and it's interesting, and it's interesting to walk the grounds in that respect but they didn't really put a lot into like giving you a good picture of what happened here and what was going on um i didn't see a museum but then again this was literally just a road um, there might be one like off the park um but for free i can't complain uh there it's some beautiful scenery and some beautiful overlooks for sure worth a stop you could probably do it in a half hour um, even if you read a lot of the signposts, or even if you're walking this trail, I don't even know where the fuck this is going. I just know that I'm here. <laughs> you know, just trying to see what, where this goes. Um, but, I don't know, there's just not a lot of history that they've pointed out or preserved over the years. That, you know, I was hoping maybe to see, like, how it looked, how it might have been set up, you know, like, or more monuments, the monuments, there's not a lot, you know, and I don't know. It's 
Still a beautiful countryside for sure and a good way to look at it. With a little bit of touch of history. So if you're looking for more than that, I would say you could probably skip this one. But it is literally right off the interstate. So at the end of the day, I'd say might be worth a stop. You know, stretch your legs on the long ass drive. Which every fucking drive in Montana is a long ass drive, pretty much. Still pretty awesome though. Interesting uh, trails here. So they don't want you walking too much on the grass. Lots of signage saying they're preserving shit, yet there's horse shit because the horses are running free. But they were running free back then too so that's accurate <laughs> this is quite a nice little hiking area definitely quite the view so the uh park rangers are sweating me so that's the end of this fucking video why you know it's not even close to sunset oh well that being said if you like my videos and you want me to make more fucking videos please like and subscribe hit the fucking bell sorry for the wind noise head to scottthetruckdriver.com Sign up for my free email list so I can notify of premieres, live streams, and uncensored videos. And uh, speaking of that, should be noted that uh, the visitor center was all masked up. So that doesn't bode well for my visit to Montana or Yellowstone. But that being said, this is the second national park I've gotten into without being asked about my medical jab status. So take that for what it is a lot of people told me I wouldn't be able to get in so far so good and this is in Montana so you know Montana is weird when it comes to this stuff you know COVID fear levels are high but space is ample I don't get it um, but nobody's fucked with me and most of the people outside were not wearing masks there were some but I'm noticing as we go west there's more and more masks all right that's it have a nice motherfucking day and shit <laughs>